all right let's just first of all discuss the content of this simulation first of all we will discretize the system and then we will check for the pz map uh, of our discrete open loop plant uh, by demonstrating the poles and zeros location and then we'll find the step response our closed loop system without implementing the digital controller and after that we will uh, evaluate the digital controller g of d and then we will set the step up response step response for the uh, with respect to the controller and after that we will check the closed loop system with overall uh, structure that how it actually looks okay define let's de first define the numerator and denominator of the plant uh, which is 1 and the denominator 1 2 and 0 that means it's s square 2 of s plus 0 and take the transfer function uh, numerator and denominator and just we can also mention it in the form of zero pole gain so that it can be easily observed exactly as that was mentioned in the book let's move ahead so the system without using the zero pole gain is actually by 1 over s square plus 2s by using that zp gain command it actually transform it into the form of gains uh, now let's just discretize the system at the sampling time of 0 0.2 second that was defined in the question and the g is our system for with respect to the zero order hold we actually obtain the open loop impulse transfer function g of z which is exactly same as that of the question 0 0.01758 into 0 uh, z plus 0 0.8753 and the poles are at 1 and 0 0.6703 okay uh, let's check out the pz map for our open loop transfer function you can easily see that there are two poles at uh, 0 0.6 something and at that of 1 and 1 0 at 0 0.8 so let's apply the feedback to make the complete closed loop system and uh, afterward we just checked that now the poles have been moved from the uh, marginally positioned within the unit circle and there are now two poles at the same uh, but above and below the plane however the location of the zero is exactly same as it was before okay uh, now let us just uh, simulate the system with the help of step input response and this is the response that states that the settling time of the given system is uh, about uh, 5 seconds and uh, if we take the rise time that tells the 90% of the maximum uh, magnitude which is realizing over between um, the 3.5 and 4 seconds so this is the output of the system closed loop system without implementing the uh, digital controller and also keep in mind that there is no overshoot there is no percentage overshoot or no undershoot as well finally we just define the parameters of the digital controller for the alpha beta and k that are being evaluated numerically in our uh, previous lecture and uh, you can easily find the digital controller g of d that is being defined by z minus 0 0.6703 and divided by the poles 0 z minus 0 0.2543 and finally when we actually multiply it with the help of the k and k the final look for our digital controller i is being mentioned over here now let's just repeat the same steps and take the step response of our system uh, you can now easily realize that uh, there is a pole zero cancellation occurring due to the presence of the digital controller because we have chose the alpha value that was actually equal to the one of the pole uh, that was residing in the open loop uh, impulse transfer function and uh, let's just 
take the closed loop system defined by this new system that is k and take the step response once again for all the given same constraints and now you can easily realize that the system has undergone the overshoot and uh, however this time the system is settling at about nearly two seconds and before the, the previous conditions we actually observed that without the implementation of the digital controller the system settled on on nearly five seconds however we have now improved the response of our system by implementing the digital controller and you can easily realize that the system has settled on at nearly two seconds however now the system has the percentage overshoot okay uh, you can also control uh, and minimize this percentage overshoot by implementing the PID tuning methods uh, especially the PD methods are much more suitable for uh, covering all those uh, those kinds of uh, the overshoot and all uh, but keep in mind that all these contributions regarding the PID tuning depends only on your given conditions whatever is your requirement you can uh, control the output response by um, uh, implementing the PID tuners and uh, evaluate your uh, system response according to your conditions so this is all about the today's lecture i hope so that you really enjoyed with the help of your matlab simulation and your numerical analysis <clears throat> i hope so that if you have any question regarding this uh, today's lecture you can comment below and you can al uh, also email me on the email description that is being mentioned in the uh, description of the video so don't hesitate to ask question you are most welcome to ask any kind of question that is relevant to this topic thank you very much